Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Football, coming to you from the Inglewood Football Ground. Today we'll talk to Siggy Kramer, the club president, Barbara Gibson, the club secretary, and a little bit later on we will talk to Don Evans on the president's meeting held last week. So, let's talk football. Joining us now is Inglewood Club President Siggy Kramer. Siggy, yes. you have been involved in the game for a number of years. Yes. How have you seen the game progress in the years since you have been involved with it? Well, at one stage the game really did progress and really was great to be able to be part of. But a few years down the track it sort of subsided in regard to the potential that the game and the players. But hopefully uh, uh, it will return to the days when... Uh, we could look forward to and enjoy a game of football on a Saturday. Uh, as you know, I've been involved since 1953, with, especially with the one club, Inwood, uh, as a player and a coach, as a secretary, as a bucket boy, water boy, <laughs> I've been everything. Uh, it's been a hard track for, for the club because our uh, base used to be the Ukrainian community, Yep. which is uh, dispersed lately and uh, uh, it's, we haven't got that strength that the Italian community has got or the, the Macedonian community or the Greek community but we've managed to get on board a few good sponsors which helps us to uh, maintain what we've got and we've been lucky to be able to put together the facilities you've got you, you can see here mm -hmm. A very impressive facility I might add Well thank you, uh, uh, it, it took a lot of time, effort and money and the right people to contribute, uh, which makes a big difference. When you be able to get, call on somebody and put their hand in the pocket, it makes a big difference. Yeah. How are you doing this year for sponsors? Uh, well, we've got uh, our major sponsor, of course, uh, Clipsal, uh, BDC, Collie Hardware, mm -hmm. yeah. very, very big sponsors. They, uh, they are also sponsoring the club uh, on another level. We're building a house with uh, Swan IC. All right. And... Uh, they are coming on board to donate all the timber, hardware, etc., which is a tremendous amount of money that we save. So uh, we did a deal two years ago with, with Swanasee, and uh, each club benefited to the tune of $114,000, which is fantastic. That's right. So, as you know, we don't, we don't float by people coming through the gate. Hmm. That, that doesn't happen. Yeah. You need people to put their hand in the pocket and and sponsor your club, which they do, which we're very, very happy and very proud of. And you said at the beginning there that things were going good. Do you think some things have gone wrong lately, or how has the change been from the Soccer West Coast days to the Football West days? Well, uh, look, at the end of the day, uh, what I don't like is uh, uh, this business of having to... Uh, uh, people that don't like you yep. or anybody within the club uh, can put a letter together and send it to Football West and use the word discrimination and straight away you've got a problem. Mm -hmm. We recently, uh, two weeks ago, we had to go to a tribunal because one of the mothers of a young under nine boy wasn't happy with the fact that he wasn't picked to play in the A-team. Mm -hmm. So she put all this letter together in regard to... Uh, uh, you're using words of discrimination. Then she uh, also put together uh, uh, in the letter that Football West needs to suspend all the club officials. Football West needs to uh, uh, not only suspend, but uh, uh, yeah, suspend all our coaches and not allow them to coach anymore because they didn't pick her son to play in the A team and have the club investigated. I, I ask you. I mean, we've got. Honourable people here. We've got a, a lady that has been working for the game for uh, what 35, 40 years, and, and 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 these people are putting putting a slur on her, and not only on her but on on my person as well. Did you get the support of Football West on that? Shoot? No, Football West uh, handballed it and put together a tribunal. And when it came to the tribunal, the club had to go and get a solicitor, 
and I believe, well, I, I know the lady came with a solicitor as well. And at the end, the, the, the people on the tribunal threw it out. There's no discrimination. You know what I mean? Yeah. So why can't Football West take the bull by the horn and look, look at it realistically? I mean, this reminds me, and I, I'm sorry I have to be so... No. Reminds me of Hitler, Mussolini and Stalin. If you didn't like anybody, dob them in, right, and you get a fridge. Mm. Dob two people and you get two fridges. I mean, where are we going with this crap? That's crap. Pardon me for using that word. And, you know, I'm very upset about that. Football West needs to look at that realistically, right? And not allow... Because if that's the case, and anybody can write in the letter, use the word discrimination, and you've got a problem. Mm. And and is this what Football West is there for? Or are they there to promote the game? And, and push the game to, to, to the top where, where possible, or to get bogged down with all this crap. So it's basically the administration that you've got the, um, if anything, a gripe with? Well, yes, I have, because they, they need to look at themselves and look, look, look what, what, these, what these people are trying to create. I mean, all they're trying to create, I mean, to me it looks like a vendetta by some people. I mean, we don't need that. We don't need that, neither do they. So they need to look at that. What do you think of this new proposal for the Super League that they're talking about in two years' time? Are you in favour of that? Well, uh, I'm not in favour of eight teams. I prefer ten. But, I mean, they're looking at the criteria, etc., etc. I mean, when you look at criteria, at this present moment, there wouldn't be too many clubs can uh, can yeah. qualify for that. But I also believe that they're looking to uh, scrap all the, all, the, all the clubs and put out licences for people to by license, which perhaps at the end of the day, if that's going to happen, I don't know, well, it might be for the better of it, I don't know. It, it, time will tell. Do you feel that you should have some involvement in the decision processes? Well, see, this is another little bugbear of mine. Uh, they put a, a standing committee together, right? I mean, I call them a sitting committee because they don't do it. Whatever they put forward to the powers to be, it doesn't happen. Mm. So at the end of the day, uh, I don't know why they why they even bother with the standing committee. Mm. Were you at the meeting last week? Yes, I was. Yes. And did you find that fruitful or not? Well, like I keep telling people, at the end of the day, the clubs have got no power whatsoever. Because, you know, Football West is a company, right? So, you know, all you're doing is uh, paying uh, a subscription, uh, uh, and to be participate in the competition that they're setting up, right? So you've got the club's really got no say in any way or form, and that's a fact. Mm. It doesn't matter what people tell you or tell anybody else. The club's got no say. Simple as that. Okay. How do you think you're going to progress this year? Just getting back to the football side of it now. We just got, <laughs> just conceded to go. Yep. Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, how do you feel you will be progressing this year? How, how, what are your hopes for the season? Well, you've had some changes. Yes, we have. Uh, uh, we've got we've got a few young boys that have come through the ranks, and uh, uh, they're sort of showing a lot of potential. And I think with a little bit of time, uh, we'll get there. But uh, I mean. I'll be quite happy to finish in the middle of the table this year if, if that could would be possible. I would be quite happy with that because of the fact that we've introduced a lot of young boys, you know. Your new coach, he comes highly recommended. Lee Bamba, yes, a very, very good man. Very, very good man. Uh, I like his uh, style. I like his attitude. And I, I like his, uh, uh, how can I say, the way he... Uh, his... Uh, uh, Man to man, you know. Man management skills. Man management skills. Yeah. He's very, very good, and I'm very happy about that. Yes. And he had a great start last week with a win in Armadale. Yes, yes. A three-one against Armadale was pretty good. Quite happy about that. Uh, but it's a long way to Tipperary, so to speak, isn't it? <laughs> You're not wrong. Yes, a long way to Tipperary. Yes. <laughs>